How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode. In this video, we're gonna be taking some springtime portrait um, photographs using Portra 160, medium format film. I've actually never used Portra 160. I've used Portra 400 and 800, and I usually buy my film from local uh, film shops rather than online. So oftentimes I'm limited by just what they have. And this is what they had. So I wanted to use Portra, but I would opt for Portra 400, but that's okay. This will still be really good. So we have our model here, Chidiago. And I want to encompass the blossoms on the trees, which have just like bloomed here in Salt Lake City in the valley. And so we're at the International Peace Gardens in Salt Lake. And I'm gonna incorporate some of the blossoms and get like an environmental nature type portrait kind of atmosphere going. And I'll be using the Ricoflex um, by Ryko. It's a twin lens reflex medium format camera, uh, six by six aspect ratio. So I'm gonna load it up with the portrait and then we'll get shooting. This way, step forward, put your face like right here. Oh, don't go under it. Branch, yeah, hold on. I'm just gonna position you so that you're out of the shadow. Right there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Perfect, there you go. Yeah, look, kind of serious. So before, this is my second time using this camera and the first time I used it, it's very sensitive with the focus, so I have to make sure that I Spend the time to focus correctly. Okay, three, two, one. Done. The first time I used it, I was up close to some subjects and I, the focus is, so I just have to go off of my eye through the viewfinder and I move, the lenses are fixed on the body move the lenses forward and back to get the focus. It's very sensitive, so I have to be careful. I have to use this magnifier on the viewfinder and just be careful when I focus, especially for portraits, because it has a shallow depth of field. I'm at f8, but at f8 on medium format, your, shallow de your depth of field is still very shallow. So I just have to be careful to make sure that my subject is in focus, because that's something I learned the first time using this, is that it's a very sensitive you like just a slight movement will make it off which if it's slightly off then it's an accident and it's annoying if you make it off on purpose you know that's a different kind of setup but anyways let's uh, keep moving and get some good get some good shots so this is a good instance i'm actually grabbing the branch and pulling it down and you can use the shutter or you can pull the this little uh, lever here which uh, cocks the lens to also release the shutter, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Got it. I want to try a double exposure now. The sun is hitting these blossoms and it looks really good. And 
I love, I've seen a lot of photography with film, um, taking pictures during the springtime of blossoms where you use a shallow depth of film, you like focus on a branch and you see the layers of the branches and the blossoms on the trees. So I want to do that, but I want to try to do a double exposure with the model as well so you can get like a person in the subject with kind of blossoms overlaying to create kind of that cool effect. So I'm going to take the picture of the blossoms first. I just have to find a good composition. We're lucky it's a clear blue uh, sky, so we have a really good contrast with the white on the blue. It looks really good. Two, one. Okay, so instead of winding it, now I'm gonna just keep that same uh, slide on the film and get a picture of our model here for a double exposure. Okay. So we have these purple blossoms. And I like the way they look. So let's use these. I'm actually going to leave that one. Alright, so we got that shot. Before I progress to the next slide, let's get a picture of our model. You Let's. want me to sit down there again? Yeah. Um, or something else? Yeah, sit. Yeah, sit. Like that. Put your fist back a little bit into under your chin. There you go. That's good. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, got it. Come on, this side. Oh yeah, this is good. Move your hair back again. Keep it back a little bit. Your face. And then move your face to the right, to the left. I'm just trying to get it out of the branches are like shading your face. I want your face to be unobstructed. Then let's see. Turn your, put your arms down. Turn your body. Yep, yep, that way. Turn it this that way. Yeah, there you go. Um, you're still shadow on you. Move to the right a little bit. Right there. Right there, your face doesn't have any shadow on it. Keep it right there. Perfect. That's a good position. Your body's good. Put your arm down. Like, just let it hang. There you go. Perfect, right there. Yeah, it's out of battery. It's not working. So I'm just going to go off the Sunny 16 roll at this point. Three, two, one. Got it. Yeah, my light meter is whacking out, so it's either broken or the battery's dead. And then 
But luckily I can always count on the 7016 rule to get me by, you know? Okay, looking in the camera. Three, two, one. Got it. Uh, Alright, let me get one more of you like close up. Uh, Maybe just stand right here. I'll try and get these like blossoms in the back. There. You need to lift your nickels up. Pinky down. Okay. Three, two, one. Got it. All right, so the sun's about to go down. It's hidden the side of this lion's face, so I'm gonna do a double exposure, and I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna take a picture of this lion, and then I'm gonna position Chi Chi here so that the shadows are opposite, so that the light side of the lion will be on the shaded side of her face, and the light side of her her face will be on the shaded side of the lion. That's my theory. In practice, it could be different. Double exposure time. Last frame on the roll. Let's try it out. And the sun's going down, so we gotta make sure we get it. Lion time. Got it. Chi Chi time. Side on the. Uh, there's not enough light here. Hairs in. The, yeah, yeah. Put your hair back more. No, sunny side. Three, two, one. Got it. We did it. Joe. Joe. So I just felt the uh, film wind it up. So I'm gonna get it developed. We'll see how they turn out. I did three double exposures. That last one was pretty much experimental. The line was definitely a lot bigger in frame, so it'll be more covering the frame, whereas our model subject's face will be lesser the frame. But the shadow and light sides, I try to center them. So we'll see how it turns out. If it's a little bit off, post editing I'll rearrange it maybe possibly if possible I don't know about that but <laughs> anyways thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share this video I have a desire to capture the world on film so I'm learning I've only shot analog for the last two years now so this is kind of a learning experience and a journey for me so if you want to follow me along I'm gonna be publishing new videos throughout the year, so subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.